Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Pruder, and welcome to Intro to Drama. Uh, it's certainly a challenging time to be teaching any course, but I think a, a performance-based class like drama adds, uh, well, bad joke, but like it adds a little bit of drama to it. Um, but but here's the great news. Um, I've loved the work that we've done so far. I'm excited to tell you a little bit about what we've done and what we are going to be doing in this course, uh, in this video. Um, and I've loved students' level of engagement so far. It truly has been fantastic. I've loved their mentality to, to take some chances, um, to be a little bit goofy in an unconventional way, um, and also to give themselves and one another a little bit of grace uh, in what is admittedly a, an odd year. I'm really excited to be working with your students this year. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about why I love teaching drama class, as well as capture kind of what some of our big goals are. Our big four goals um, are to become better public speakers, better collaborators, better critical thinkers, in hopes that all of that leads to uh, being more confident in every single discipline. We don't have a public speaking course at South Line High School. In truth, I wish we did. I think public uh, public speaking was uh, maybe one of the, the most informative courses that I took in my entire life, but we don't have one. Um, this functions as a glorified public speaking course. The great thing is there will be times in which your student is going to practice public speaking as himself or, or herself. There will be other times in which they get to play fictional characters, uh, which sometimes feels a little bit safer. But either way, they're working on some really important skills that all translate to becoming better public speakers. In truth, uh, one of the best compliments I've ever received in my teaching career was from a student who a few years ago um, in front of the entire school gave a speech and said, I don't think I would have been able to do that without taking intro to drama. She needed that practice. She needed the chance to play and take some chances and build those skills. Intro to drama is a fantastic opportunity to, to do that. Um, the other great thing about drama is it's an incredibly collaborative um, it's an incredibly collaborative course, even when we're working on something like monologues or storytelling and things that are uh, more just kind of like individual centered, there's still the collaborative experience of thinking of how this fits into kind of a larger piece. And of course, there's so much that we are going to be doing as far as working in partners, um, working in small groups and working as a, a large group. What exactly would that will look like this year? We will wait and see but they've already been doing collaborative experiences, which is an incredibly important skill moving forward, especially as um, you know, we are kind of doing a little bit of back and forth. Even if we were to spend this entire semester online um, and we think about kind of how isolating that can be, the more that we can learn to collaborate through different mediums such as online is going to be important. Drama offers us a way to do that. Um, all of this is going to hopefully help us become better critical thinkers as well. The great thing about an intro to drama class is you're working on a lot of skills that cross into other disciplines, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But we're going to be doing a lot as far as understanding how stories, how plays are constructed and why. We'll do a lot of character analysis, things that you would expect to hear in an English class. But these feel like they're a little bit more accessible to some students, which I think is a really powerful thing. Um, in fact, a lot of the work that that we're, we've already been doing with students who needed to stand up or, well, I guess technically they could sit down, uh, but to tell a joke with a beginning, a middle, an end, and to do so with confidence, that's hard work. Um, the storytelling we're going to be doing soon, that's hard work, and it's vulnerable work because we're sharing things about ourselves. But how does that play into becoming better critical thinkers? It, it's a great chance for us um, to... Be, be working with ourselves and fictional characters and to be thinking about how our vulnerability might help us understand those fictional characters, um, which then in turn we can put into our own performances, which is what we, we absolutely want. Um, but the great thing again is drama crosses so many different disciplines. Um, we'll be doing a, a little bit of history to understand the context in which our plays are set. Um, we'll be doing a lot of character analysis. We'll be writing, we'll be reflecting, and of course, all coming back to that uh, that public speaking. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, of course, that also means that you're really invested um, and you wanna know how to, how to help your student be successful this year. Um, if you're wondering about that big picture in terms of how to, uh, how to help your student in all six courses, uh, shoot me an email. I'd love to kind of share some ideas with you for things that have worked for me, things that worked for my students last year and things that are working for students this year. If we're looking for something specific though to how you can help your student in this particular course, um, I think the, the biggest thing is to be present and to ask some questions. 
Here's what I mean by that. Your student is going to be working um, a lot with memorization and with reading with emphasis, whether that's a script, whether that's a storytelling assignment that they have, you being an audience for them is so incredibly important. For some of you, that might mean reading some lines with them if they will let you, right? And that's a great chance to let them work on their pacing and you're just kind of a sounding board for them to fill in those gaps and be the character that they are talking to. The other thing that you can do though is ask them to actually do the scene for you as multiple characters. That's a great chance for them to work on their voice and their pacing, right? If you can't tell the difference between multiple characters, that's a great chance for you to say, hey, like that's something that we might wanna work on a little bit. So you just being an audience plays such a fantastic role in that, uh, which would be fantastic. Now, students are also writing, which again comes back to being more confident in all disciplines, not only with our public speaking, but in our reading and in our writing. Um, Students will be writing reflections of their performances as well as analysis of characters and as a play as a whole. Ask if you can provide a little bit of feedback on that. You do not need to be experts. Um, you do not need to, to even know the plays. Summarize their points back to them. You know, if they're doing an analysis, hey, it seems like this is kind of what you're trying to say. Is that right? And they're gonna know based on that really quickly of, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Cool, they're in good shape. Or they'll say, well, yeah, but, and they're gonna to wanna to fill in some gaps. If they need to fill in gaps for you verbally, chances are they need to fill in some gaps as far as the writing. Um, I think that those are, are great starting points. And really, if you can just summarize for your student kind of their core ideas, um, they're gonna know if that intent came across. Please also keep in mind that as students are reading plays, um, you know, ask them what they're noticing about these, these characters. We have some fantastic characters that we're working with this year. We read three core plays, A Streetcar Named Desire, um, The Odd Couple, so two classics, and then Rabbit Hole, which won the Pulitzer a few years ago for, for best work of drama, all of which are really, really different. Streetcar, um, a lot of people, uh, if nothing else, know the classic Stella moment from Streetcar. Um, but those are really rich characters. And as I told students early on, there are going to be times in which they love each of our main characters. There will be times where they cannot stand each of our main characters. Uh, and if you're familiar with the, the play or the, the movie with Marlon Brando in it, um, you probably kind of know what I, I mean by that. Um, but that's so important, right? That's gonna help us with our reading and our understanding and trying to, to think critically about motivation of real individuals and characters, important for so many of our, our courses, but also just important for kind of the real world things. But ask them what they're noticing about characters because the first step to interpretation is just being able to, to summarize. Can they do that as they talk about Stanley or Blanche or Stella or whoever the characters are? Or when we get to The Odd Couple, a classic comedy of Oscar and Felix, Oscar who is laid back and maybe a little bit too loose and Felix who is certainly very type A, incredibly uptight and we put those two characters into a room. Great to understand character motivation, great to understand why it's such a funny comedy and how that works together, but also a great chance to talk a little bit about the, the power of opposites and, and how conflict is created there and how those conflicts are solved. Ask them what they're noticing about how those characters are growing together. And then Rabbit Hole, we'll talk more about towards uh, the, the end of the year, um, a fantastic play about a family that is, um, that's grieving a loss. Um, and, and we'll kind of wait till we get into the play to figure out exactly what that loss is. But it's an interesting little snapshot. It's a great chance for us to understand how characters and how really people in general grieve in different ways, how they navigate the challenges of trying to, to move forward, but not necessarily move on. Wonderful things in which are going to help us become better critical thinkers, understand how people work, um, and still work on all of these skills that help us be more confident in, in all of these different disciplines. At the end of the day, drama class builds skills that are, are crucial in so many other courses, and it's part of the reason I love teaching it. And when you add in the fact that we have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors all in this class, what a wonderful opportunity for us to be working through uh, this challenging time together. Um, so public speaking, construction of a story, literary analysis, of themes and characters, it's all there for us, um, but we just get to do it through a different medium, which, which I really like. I'm excited to be on this journey with your students. Um, I look forward to, to everything that they are going to bring to this semester, and I really appreciate your time. 
uh, to watch this video. If you have any additional questions, comments, concerns, uh, my email is right there, pruderj at slcs.us. You'll hear more uh, from me throughout the year, just letting you kind of know what's going on in class and, and how you can help your students. Uh, but by being present, you are going to be a, a wonderful resource to your students. Um, and I look forward to hearing uh, how that process goes. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.